We're told the following equation is true for all real values of y for which the expression on the left is defined, and d is a polynomial expression. And they have this equation here. What is d? All right. So essentially what they're saying is they don't want us to, to somehow solve this equation. They're saying d is going to be some type of a polynomial expression. They tell us that right over there. D is a polynomial expression. And if we, if we figure out what D is, this left-hand side of the expression is going to evaluate to 1 for all real values of y for which the expression is defined. So let's think about how we would tackle that. Well, the first thing that pops into my mind, if I'm dividing by a fraction or a rational expression, that's the same thing as multiplying by the reciprocal. So let's, let's just rewrite this on the left-hand side. So this is 20 y squared minus 80 over d times times 4, oh, let me do the reciprocal. Let me be careful. Times the reciprocal of this. If I divide by something, it's the same thing as multiplying by the reciprocal. So let me just swap the numerator and denominator, <laughs> numerators and denominators. Numerator and denominator. All right, y to the third plus 9y squared, all of that over 4y squared minus 8y, that's going to be equal to 1. Now let's see if we can simplify all of this business on the left-hand side a little bit. So let's see, over here I can divide both terms by 20. So let me factor out a 20 because I think then it's going to end up being a difference of squares. So if I factor out a 20, so this is going to the same thing as 20 times y squared minus 4. And y squared minus 4, we can rewrite as y plus 2 times y minus 2. It is a difference of squares. So let me write that y plus 2 times y minus 2. All right, this down here, 4y squared minus 8y. Well, it looks like we can factor out a 4y. And so this is going to be the same thing as 4y times y minus 2. All right, so let me cross uh, that out. So it's the same thing as 4y times y minus 2. And I already see that this y minus 2 here and this y minus 2 here are going to cancel out. And let's see, up here, both, the, both terms are divisible by y squared. So I can rewrite this as, and I don't know if this is actually going to be helpful, because it's going to, if you do, factor, well, let me just do it, just in case. So that's the same thing as y squared times y squared times y plus 9. All right, and so we can rewrite all of these things. If we were to multiply everything together, we would end up getting, in the numerator, we'd get 20 times y plus 2 times y minus 2 times y squared times y plus 9. I'm just multiplying all the numerators. And that's going to be over, in the denominator, I would have whatever the expression d is times 4y, 4y times y minus 2. And that's all going to be equal to 1. Now let's think about it. We can divide, we, can, we have y minus 2 divided by y minus 2, so those cancel out. Uh, let's see, we have a, we can divide the numerator and the denominator by y, so that would just become 1, and then that would just become a y to the first power. And so what we'd be left with, what we'd be left with in the numerator is 20 times this y times y plus 2 times y plus 9 over, over 4d. 4d is equal to 1. Now if we want to solve 4d, well, we could just multiply both sides by d. And 1 times d is just going to be a d. So you're going to have d equals something over here. And we'd be done. So let's do that. d times that. And let's multiply that times d. Let me be clear what I'm doing here. Let me draw a little divider here to be to make it clear that to make it clear that that's happening on the other side of the page. All right. So d times this, those cancel out, and we're going to be left with 20y times actually, let me I can simplify it even more. 20 divided by 4 is 5. So the numerator is now just 1. So we have 5 times y times y plus 2 times y plus 9 is equal to d. And we're done.
This is D. This is the polynomial. Whoops. That is, that is the polynomial expression that we are looking for. If you were to substitute this back in and then try to simplify it, well, you would end up with all of this over here, and D would be this, and so it would all just cancel out, and you would be left with 1 for all real values y for which the expression on the left is actually defined. And you know, we, we, there, are, there are some values of y for which the expression on the left is not defined. Uh, if y is equal to 0, this denominator is 0, and you're dividing by 0, well, that's not defined. And then when you make it, when you divide, when you multiply by the reciprocal, if, if this were to become 0, then that wouldn't be cool either. And there's multiple ways to make this equal to 0. y could be equal to to negative 9, that would also make this bottom 0. So we could think about that if we wanted to. But they're not asking us to do that. They're saying for all the real values for y for which the expression is defined, find the d that makes all of this business equal to 1. And we just did that.